Hey you doing everybody, welcome back to another Epi Quack Tuts. Today is actually an Epi of Quick Tuts, a little series that started a while ago. Short little 5 minute max tutorials on a very specific topic. Today, I want to show you how to make a pretty common, really cool trippy lead synth. Similar to one of my favorite uh, producer groups of all time, Painty Raid, from a long time ago. From the song, Bebop, right here. So I'll play the section that contains the sound we're going to be making here. That's, a, that's the sound right there. I don't want to play anymore because I'm not trying to get that copyright strike. So, this is what mine's going to sound like. Very similar, and it's a very easy sound to make. So, as you can clearly see here, it's made in Serum. Uh, we're using two oscillators, and they're both using the Juno wavetable right there. Or Jano, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I was just going through some of the wavetables to see which one would work best. The majority of the sound is just this one wavetable, the Jano wavetable right here. You can hear with just a little bit of detune. You're already getting pretty close to the uh, promised land right here. It's already, already sounding like... All I did was detune it a bit more and add another layer to it. So, like I said, it's really easy to make. So, oscillator B here. First thing is that Jano wavetable. How you doing over there? Bring the octave down one. Unison, you're gonna boost that to four voices. You're gonna bring your deep tune up quite a bit, 0.28. You're gonna bring the blend up a lot to 80 because we want this to be really detuned. We're not looking for a perfectly pitched sound here. We want it to sound a little messy and a little trippy, you know what I mean? That's what we're going for here. So do that, and then you're gonna bring the phase, the random, the uh, random phase all the way up. So the wave table position, you're just gonna leave that right at the bottom. But we are using Ben minus for our warp type. And level is going to be all the way up. So with this warp right here, you're going to leave it all the way down. Just so you have the option of using a macro to change it. So I just brought macro 1 to this warp. And that's going to switch the sound up a bit. So there you go. It switches up the timber. Gives you some overtones in the high end. So something you can do there. And then it's also layered with this other um, oscillator over here. Which is just giving us a really high pitched noise, that nice like little metallic sheen to the uh, sound. It's another layer, works really well. The original sound in Panty Raid Song has this, so I wanted to create it as close as I could. So that's why we're doing that. Same thing, you're going to detune that a lot. Unison is at 4, detune 0.32, blend 75, random all the way up. Wavetable position is going to be at 3. And level at just 23. And that's up to you. You can bring it down a little bit. If it's too much, you can bring it up a bit. It's up to you. And the octaves at plus 3. I did do a little bit with the effects. Not too much. This distortion isn't even on right now. All I did was some chorus. Just to give it a little bit more metallic feel to it. Kind of emphasize that high-pitched um, metallic sheen going on. So the mix, 40%. Opaque filters all the way up. Feedback, 86%. So we can really hear what it's doing. Depth. 4.2 milliseconds, delay 2 is all the way down, and delay 1, 2.5 milliseconds. So you can hear what that's doing, just giving it kind of a tiny bit of that delay, you know, that metallic rhythm kind of sound, I guess you could say. And then the EQ, I'll let, let's listen to the sound without it. So there's like this high pitch ringing noise somewhere in that frequency range that's just a little too much. So I just swept through and found it right around this area, which is at, not there, 1717 hertz. Fuck. 1717. How you doing? Oh yeah, I mean, it's really obvious. You can really hear it. So that's what I did. Um, really narrow Q slopes. I just want to take out that one frequency. You know, that one little frequency range, 82%. The gain, bring it down by 13.4 dB. Then a little bit of reverb, just give it some give it some atmosphere, a little bit of like room reverb, I guess. Have it on plate. Uh, the size is really sh really small, 11%. Pre-delay, 12 milliseconds. And then everything else, you know, pretty self-explanatory. 30, 36% on the width. So that's really about it for that. Everything else is not necessary. Most of it's off. That's going to be it. Hope you liked this tutorial. If you want to see more quick touch like this, leave me some ideas for topics you want you that you want to learn something that I can just cover really quick just so you can get back to making some music. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.